What's good YouTube and welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. So Jordan 1s, I have said before on the channel, I have started to feel a little bit of Jordan 1 fatigue, but the sneakers I'm gonna be talking about today, I definitely think deserved a video because they are, in my opinion, one of the most underrated pairs of ones to release in a long time. Of course, I will be reviewing the Jordan 1 Craft. So what's good guys, my name is Josh, you can call me JD, and I do sneaker reviews and all types of other sneaker content. Come for the reviews, stay for the chill vibes, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and give me a follow on IG and TikTok while you're at it, I'm dropping a ton of content on there as well. So in this video, I'll be breaking down these sneakers, I'll show you all the different features of this shoe and tell you why I think they're so underrated. I'll of course get into the quality, sizing, what these are going for on the resale market right now, and I'm also going to style these, try to throw these into a fit and give you that on feet look so make sure you stick around until the end of this video so the Jordan 1 OG craft and I also think they're called the handcrafted Jordan ones and the reason we got that name on the shoe is because this sneaker is supposed to feel like it was handmade obviously it's not however there are a ton of different materials and colors put together on the shoe that does kind of give it that DIY type of feel but what I actually think the shoe is supposed to be is it's an homage to the Jordan 1 it shows you all of the different ways that a Jordan 1 can be be made we got new book we got leather i count maybe even six or seven different colors on this shoe we also got crazy hits of 3m two-tone laces this shoe is pretty much everything that a jordan one can be and what i like the most about it is that it doesn't look too crazy even though there are a lot of different colors and materials used on the shoe overall the shoe does feel quite cohesive the colors are all done in these nice earth tones i think it's a really nice well thought out colorway here Let's get into it. Let's start off with this box, a very unique looking box here. And this box features all of the different colors that you see on the shoe, including hits of brown and forest green. Personally, I love when they customize the Jordan 1 boxes. If I had it my way, I wish every Jordan 1, the box matched the shoe as well. I would personally love that. I'm sure not everyone would agree. Let's get into the shoe, starting off with the toe box. The mud guard is done in this brown color. It's officially called Arkeo Brown. I would like to call it a chocolate brown. It's really nice. Who doesn't love brown on Jordan 1s? Kind of like these mocha ones you see back here. And you also have this really nice white contrasting stitching pretty much all over the shoe. I think that white stitching looks great on this shoe. A very nice contrast. And before we get to the white leather on the toe box, you also have this thin layer of 3M on the toe box, which you can, of course, see if you put some flash on the shoe. The material used on the mudguard and most of the colorful panels that you see on the shoe, it's done in this new buck material. Material, which from a quality point of view, pretty decent. Not the best new book I've seen. I would say it's above average new book. Moving up on the shoe, so along the eye stays here, you see this really nice forest green color, one of my personal favorite colors. Chocolate brown, forest green, match made in heaven in my opinion. You then get these white mid panels, which are done in leather, and I will say it's not the greatest leather. It feels very much like your everyday standard leather that you get on most Jordan 1s these days, which is not very good good moving to the back of the shoe you have this nice new book what looks like an eggplant type of color or as they say in europe aubergine and then towards the top of the shoe you get that nice brown color once again the wings logo also done in that color from the colorway point of view i gotta say guys i really like this colorway yeah there's a lot of colors going on but it doesn't look out of place at all these colors definitely look like they were carefully selected. Let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think of the colorway? We've seen some multicolored Jordan 1s in the past. For example, that cut and paste one that I already mentioned, which was like gray and blue. We've also seen the smoke gray Jordan 1 drop last year or the year before. I don't know. It's been like a while, I think. Both of these shoes to me looked pretty weird. These colors really didn't go together. These, however, different story. These colors really do work together and I'm a big fan. On the inner lining of the shoe, you get this quilted material as well, which is nowhere near as nice feeling as, for example, the Ama Manier quilted ones. Those were made with like some really smooth, luxurious materials. This time, however, you don't get that nice, smooth, satin 
satin finish. However, it does add a bit of premium vibes to the shoe. If there's just one thing I don't like about this sneaker and I really don't know why they did it, it's this extra bit of 3M detailing that you see near the swoosh. I don't know why they did that. I do not think this shoe needed that at all. I would have preferred to just leave that section white. What do you guys think? Are you guys feeling that 3M here? The laces that come standard with this shoe, some very interesting laces. You don't normally see these two-tone type of laces on Jordan 1s. The last time I remember we've seen this was on the Union ones. I think in this shoe, I would have preferred if we just had like an all over orange lace, or even you can go with the all over black, which the shoe thankfully does come with. And you also get an extra pair of white laces. Sizing on these, they fit me exactly the same as every other Jordan one. For me, that is true to size. So that's the same size as I wear in pretty much all Nike Dunks, as well as Nike Air Max sneakers. I also tried to put these in a fit just to give you guys an idea of how I would rock them. Of course, as you can see, with this fit it's all about the earth tones i got these olive cargos on which i think go well with the shoe these are from dickies i got this brown vintage varsity jacket on of course like you can pretty much wear any brown jacket on this outfit a nice beige tan hoodie underneath and i'm also wearing this nice eggplant colored hat which does match some of the colors on the shoe as well I'm not trying to get like too matchy matchy here, but earth tones, it's what I love. And I think these sneakers go great with these type of outfits. Let's look at prices because the prices on these right now are just very low for a Jordan 1. These are going for a much lower price than pretty much every other Jordan 1 that released last year, which personally I just don't get because I feel like everyone complains about, you know, there's too many Jordan 1 colorways. They all look the same. They all feel the same. And now we finally get one that is very different than the rest, different materials, different laces, and it's actually a fire colorway and now I guess the hype beast don't want them I don't really get it but hey if you do like the shoe then this is great you can have it for a pretty affordable price right now I will leave a StockX affiliate link in the description it is one way to support the channel I do think the prices on these will definitely shoot up because pretty much every other Jordan one is just really inflated right now and these are still pretty affordable if you haven't already done so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit that red button at the bottom right of your screen it really does help me out and of course once again hit me up on instagram as well as tiktok i've been having a lot of fun on tiktok lately guys so make sure you guys follow me on there the on feet look about to drop right now thank you guys so much for messing with the channel and i will see you guys next time peace